In this video, we will talk about how to fix the error message which says we can't sign in to your account. We will talk about the methods and steps you have to use to fix Windows 10 or Windows 11 issue related to this error message. So watch the complete video. Method 1. Registry Editor. To a right click on Windows icon and select Run. Here you need to type a command reg edit. Click on OK. Click Yes. Let me close this error message. Here you have to be in profile list. For that, expand the edge key local machine, software, Microsoft. Here we need to search for Windows NT. So scroll it down, expand the folder, expand the folder of current version. In current version folder, you will find profile list. So simply you need to expand that folder. And here you can see that you have two folders. The one with .bak and the other one is without .bak. So you simply need to do a right click, select delete, click yes. And make sure you have the profile image part showing up here. As I have a username with eTechnis. So I can see that it's showing the username eTechnis. Do a right click, rename and remove .bak. After this, simply close it and restart your computer. Alright, here you can see that my problem has been fixed. I'm not getting that error message showing up for Windows 11. Or if you have a Windows 10, you will not get the error message once you modify the registry editor. If method 1 does not work for you, then follow our method 2. Create new user account. Do a right click on Windows icon. Select run. Here you need to type a command. Lusermanager.msc. Click on OK. Double click on users. And here you need to click on action, select new user, give a user name. You can add these information as well. Uncheck this box, click on create. Now click on close. Here you can see that eTechnis 2 showing up. Double click on it. Click on member of, select the users, click on remove. Now click on add. Here you need to type administrator, click on OK. Now click on apply and OK. Close it. Change your user account. Simply log this user account and you can go to eTechnis2. Once you'll be in your new user account, click on File Explorer. Click on this PC, Windows C, Users. Here you need to select the old user account. Click on Continue. From here you can move all the files and document to your new account. I hope our method will help you to fix we can't sign into your account. That's all for today. Meet you in the next video.